Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sugar with Sugar Moon. How are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all having a beautiful day, night, wherever you guys may be in the world. And I hope that you guys are protecting your energy as such, okay? Um, right now, I'm in a little bit of a new setup. I just decided to just throw this all on the floor right now and just decided to do a little reading for the new moon in Leo. So happy new moon in Leo tonight, by the way. And today is the closing of the 808 portal because today is also August 18th, okay, so 818, so if you've been seeing those synchronicities, 808, 818, maybe 1010 or 1001, feeling a sense of cycles completion as such. Today I'm going to be going over a little bit of the astrology, spirit animal totems, numerology, angel numbers, certain things that my spirit guides and my angels and my ancestors and the, um, my starseed family that I've been working with and connecting with during this time period. Now, I was guided to take a long break. Remember, I did say this and stated it within my previous video on the new oracle decks etc so i will be using some of those here as you all know that i always list what i use below in the box so if you guys are interested in any of these decks it will be listed down there in case you want to use them yourself also towards the end of this week is going to be the closing of the leo season so thank you leo season to its teachings and we're going to be welcoming virgos so hello to virgos happy birthday to virgos coming up towards the end of the week okay i'll make sure to shout you guys out when virgo season starts all right but that will be towards i think saturday around this time period when i am filming this um, when we will go into Virgo. Also note that there's a lot of marriage energy that I feel going on, a lot of rings, a lot of marriage type synchronicities, and so that is towards the Lion's Gate because typically a lot of unions happen along this time during Lion's Gate as well as towards the end. I'm feeling like a new wave is coming through. There's always people on different waves that I connect with, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so just recently I had my wisdom teeth extracted and removed, so I have been healing from that. Um, a lot of to do with the throat chakra and the mouth area for sure. Um, getting rid of uh, old paradigms, old beliefs, old ego systems, going through a massive ego death. If you are feeling like you're going through a dark night of the soul, go ahead and check that out because there's plenty of videos out there um, who specialize in dark night of the soul processes, etc. So definitely been going through that leo season also rules over the heart chakra so we have been um having massive amount of heart chakra activation so if you've been feeling squeezings of the heart or just releasing been feeling quite emotional because venus is now in cancer it went out of retrograde into cancer by the way so the df the divine feminine energy within us is definitely within that water sign um like emotions right now very um emotional and you could be crying and purging quite a lot um releasing and letting go um, a lot of the big theme right now is forgiveness and to let go because true forgiveness is actually freedom so the whole uh, notion of freedom and you need to ask yourself what really freedom means okay not what we're seeing right now in the physical I'm talking about in a spiritual sense um, freedom to let go freedom to be uh, fly freely to spread your wings okay so there's been a lot of like themes around that and also we rule the ego and the pride so I'm saying we because by the way, I have Leo within my chart. I am a Leo rising, so I do... <laughs> I know quite a bit about the Leo signs uh, for sure and I also have quite a bit of Leos within my family and my mother it was one included so um, definitely been releasing pride, ego, resentment, a lot of grudges, a lot of anger is coming up to the surface because remember we're in a fire sign so it's all about purification so it's like that phoenix burning stage that I always refer to so um, it's quite a bit of a transformation right now so you guys are about to pretty much come out from the ashes you guys were buried in because um, you guys were really burn baby burn right now <laughs> So fire has been a big theme. I've been working with fire today. Also tonight for the new moon, I wrote love letters to, remember I stated I wrote love letters, um, but I wrote to the universe, my spirit guides, I wrote to the past, etc. And I'm going to be burning those tonight um, in celebration of the new moon, of letting go of the past fully and saying goodbye to it. I did make a post about it on my Instagram, a little bit more about uh, Leo new moon, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But yeah, so I'm going to go over like some synchronicities I've been receiving as far as animal totems to look out for. I've been seeing a lot of dragons, um, revolving also dragonflies as well, which is the deep transformation, okay? 
also ultimate protection and guidance also dragons are very high dimensional beings so i would look more into dragons if you feel guided to or if you're connecting to dragons a lot more um a lot being born in the year of the dragon that can also resonate as well so um seahorses i've been getting more so that ties into the divine masculine energy more so about giving birth so divine masculines also give birth as well as divine feminines mind you because we're both you have to balance out both it's very important to come into union with yourself first and foremost before you come into union with any other counterpart all right it's very important but seahorses also is about that sea energy You've been connecting with star sea like atlantis mintaka time maybe lemuria even more so okay so i'm feeling more so those star seeds coming through Mm hmm and i've been connecting and learning a little bit more about other star seeds as well you know like the arcturians um um i've been learning more about even the reptilian even more so because i believe that we should learn about every single subject as much as you can because you're never done learning anyways and i like to study both um things that people would typically be afraid of but also um i think that you can learn a lot from things that you fear does that make sense so okay so blue butterfly i've been seeing a lot of blue butterflies and fun fact that will also be a tattoo idea <laughs> within the future for myself but Blue butterflies, I've been sensing a lot of butterfly energy, which is like that transformation stage. So people are really going through the cocoon, going through that spiritual awakening is what I'm seeing. But I also feel like people are gaining their wings and they're about to take flight to be to go to the next chapter, basically, within their life. So also I'm getting the butterfly lovers. It's an ancient Chinese tale. So kind of I'm feeling a lot of past life energy also coming to the surface as well. If you're connecting and getting visions within your dreams. Um, within random, even in when you're awake or during meditation, you're going to start seeing some visions of your past life or just connections or symbols that regard to your past life, okay? It's kind of like that butterfly effect. Like one small action can create a big, huge reaction. So um, another thing that the butterfly can... So one small thing that you do today can have a big impact to tomorrow, all right? So it's like that notion. So be very mindful of your thoughts and your feelings and emotions and the actions you're taking right now at this time because manifestation is at a way quicker pace right now so it's being more mindful of that but i get it like if you're purging and you're feeling angry like feel those emotions like don't allow yourself to ignore those emotions because you're just prolonging your healing process make sure you feel it to heal it is what the motto is that a lot of people say within the community um you're going to definitely hear a lot from me as well is i'm a big advocate of really feeling your emotions even if the most uh, the ugly ones even the ones that you don't want to feel which is resentment anger jealousy um greed all of that like all of that allow for that to come to the surface to be released and to let go of full control and to surrender all right um i've been Okay, I heard a dog, so I guess you're connecting with dogs that could be connected to the Divine Masculine energy, which is funny because there's wolves right here too, um, which is also part of the Divine Masculine energy coming through, um, being balanced with both, remember, and also it's about learning to uh, stand alone as the lone wolf, but also learning to work within the community, within packs, so being able to help your fellow community out, so I'm feeling a lot of Aquarius energy, humanitarianism coming through, um, helping for causes, donate, you know, things like that, donating, um, maybe you're going to clear up your space um pretty soon and but basically like donate a few things or maybe sell things or just kind of like clean your energy around the environment because i know i need to clean i need to do a um summer cleaning towards to say goodbye to summer and a welcome fall because i want it to be a new energy space um pretty much so so i'm you know just cleaning up your surroundings and your environment will definitely make a difference within your mental health for sure because when we have a messy environment it also reflects within our messy mind so when you have a messy room that means you have a messy mind that you need to reorganize process and start you know putting it into certain places you don't need to be like so organized to the point where it creates ocd now that's another mental health thing within itself things don't have to be perfect spirit's not asking for perfectionism it's just asking you to find balance all right 
Um, key energy. So right now, I feel like Divine Feminines, this is particular for the Divine Feminine Collective. You guys are receiving a key, or you guys are the key right now, um, in order to unlock a certain aspect, of whether it's a gift, whether it's a new beginning, whether it's romance or platonically, whether it's family-oriented, or whether it's job career-wise. I feel like right now, you're about to turn the key, and I'm seeing someone that's like about to like literally open the door but then they're also hesitating to open the door does that make sense like they're just standing outside the door with the key inside but are you are you going to turn the knob and actually open it is the question so uh that's kind of like the questions right now a lot of people are asking especially the divine feminine collective i feel like you guys are at a crossroads like deciding on like letting go of the past fully um now i don't mean like letting go of someone from the past i mean like letting go of past pain past hurt past grudges past resentment you know things that are coming up to the surface of resolving your emotions remember because you're in cancer venus is in cancer right now mars is still in aries i believe and he'll be going into taurus uh, soon later on but um, but right now also I guess another thing they want me to note is that Uranus went into retrograde as well so that that also stems from the Aquarius energy I'm feeling <laughs> so I need to check on when Uranus went into retrograde um, but yes so a key is like also the key can also pertain to the divine masculine collective but I'm feeling it's more so the divine feminine is what spirit is saying is it the divine feminine or divine masculine I just want clarification Okay, I'm getting more so divine feminine. The more more so divine feminine collective. Okay, because mind you, you guys share the heart is what they're saying. So you guys really are connected at the heart chakra for sure. So if you guys are like really feeling that um, heart chakra, is what I'm feeling because that is literally a portal. Um, it's known as a portal that you have within your heart chakra. So I remember when I always talk about stabbing the heart until light comes in. Yeah, it's painful, but it's also necessary. Um owl so right now i've been seeing a lot of owls a lot of signs of wisdom again with the divine feminine energy this is more like higher intuition using your intuition also following the signs and synchronicities that spirit is giving you kind of like breadcrumbs that are following you like letting you follow it along the way of your path you know so be very mindful of your surroundings uh, make sure that you're looking at all 360 degrees you know turning all around and making sure that you're scoping out and seeing from different perspectives okay so very important and also owls and, and any bird like energy represents also a messenger so something's coming through and it's being delivered from the 5d into this realm right now mind you this um I don't know if I really, like, I know we're still in 3D energy right now with Mother Gaia, but I feel like Mother Gaia's is ascension. Like, as we ascend, the more that the Earth ascends too, so um, it fluctuates, okay? <laughs> as much as there's chaos going on right now, I feel like the vibration is going up, up. So I'm feeling like right now, Mother Gaia, like, oh my gosh. I did, like, this one meditation in the bath, I know where I was apologizing to Mother Gaia for the way that we treat her, for the way that we take advantage of her, for the way... So, I felt like a lot, like, there's this connection where the Divine Masculine energy um, within us is really apologizing to the Divine Feminine, and vice versa, for, like, the hurt that was exchanged between both. Now, I'm not talking about just the twins, I'm talking about energy as a whole within this whole planet. I feel like there's making amends, taking accountability for actions, as well as recognizing our toxic traits and for you know and like okay it's like that quote saying that in order to heal a situation you must realize that there is one to heal in the first place right because a lot of people are in denial about what it is that we need to heal or face within ourselves even me myself is ignorant to certain things within myself within my shadow within my deeper psyche that i need to address within myself okay however people are at different parts of the journey you cannot force people into actually um going into spiritual awakening you can't force people into actually healing they have to do it when they are actually ready they themselves so that's very important to keep in mind that you cannot control the journey whereas you just have to go pretty much with the flow when it comes to the healing process okay but also you need to take actions oh i heard a ring in my left ear actions necessary in order to help heal your situation does that make sense otherwise if you don't take any actions there would be no no um nothing to show for it you know that type of thing so right now spirit is asking like 
it's like that dynamic of the divine feminine divine masculine are doing some sort of waltz or a dance is what they're showing it's like they pull back pull in pull back pull in and right now right i'm feeling a lot of twins or like the energy of divine masculine divine feminine pulling in and integrating as as a whole so it's like that yin and yang energy coming in together okay integration is what we call it so we will call that like inner union or like spiritual union okay so that's very important. Like I said earlier in this reading, that spiritual union is so important versus like the physical. The physical is a bonus, right? But however, the spiritual union is where you want to come into into wholeness with yourself to realize that you have always been whole, um, that there's no part missing. Okay. However, it is like that uh, poetic sense of thinking that there's a missing key or a missing lock or a um, you know, a certain puzzle piece, you know, that type of thing. But however, it's important to realize that you are always whole and have been whole and was born whole and complete. It's very important, okay? So, spiders. I've been seeing a lot of spiders lately. Spider has been a big indicator. Also represents a lot of divine feminine energy lately, okay? So I feel like the divine feminine has been really going through a spiritual transformation right now at this current point in time. I know divine masculines are definitely because I feel like they've definitely been taking steps back. Like I said about that waltz, taking some steps back right now to process and to kind of, you know, get their life together in many, in many senses. Like they're trying to make sense of things, <laughs> you know, that type of thing. It's like a spiritual waking. So you guys are reflecting each other like a mirror. Um, like I said, if you're saying 1001, 1221, 808 is another thing as well. Like the 707, um, 606 is coming to mind as well. All of those are coming up right now um, to say that you guys are mirroring one another like the masculine and feminine are definitely coming into uh, integration process. So the way that divine masculines heal, it, it's, it's, it's a different way in which they heal versus divine feminines, but it's quite similar. Does that make sense? Like you guys don't mirror each other to an exact T, but you know, it's, it's like I said, like a dance. Um, that's the best way I can explain it. Angel number hmm, 313 is also coming to mind. I'm going to read right now what I wrote in my notes. Angel number 313 is a message from your angels that the strong connection you have with the angelic realm and the ascended masters is assisting you with staying positive, light, and optimistic about your life. Angel number 313 indicates that you are surrounded by loving and positive energies. That's beautiful to note right now. So a lot of angelic like energy. If you guys are seeing feathers, if you guys are seeing light flashes um, at the corner of your eyes, every time you close your eyes, it's just lights flashing, like orbs, that type of thing, or um, just feeling like someone is in your presence, or feeling like you know a, a sense of calmness after a huge bout of anxiety. You know, th those are like signs that your angels and and your spirit guides or whoever that you believe in or pray to of the of your highest form um, is right there supporting you is with you so you're not alone on this journey okay I've been seeing horses which is funny because the horse is right here that I'm using this is an old bandana that was given to me from my grandmother so this is very sacred I like this this is like something she wore um, even herself so it has her energy within it the horses represent freedom being free you are not tied to anything your spirit is free you may feel trapped and locked within your physical body within your emotional state within whichever state that you feel like you're in but however your spirit can never be locked or tied down your spirit is free nothing can break your spirit so that's something that the horse represents for sure and letting you know that you see this divine masculine right here who's riding this horse and <laughs> the wolves right here I feel like the like definitely the divine masculine collective is moving forward okay for sure and you see that they're dressed up and oh my gosh I feel like a lot of divine masculines are coming into their power right now especially when they're taking times away to take a step back like don't take it personal when divine masculine energy feels the need to take a step back away from the divine feminine energy because there's a reason for that there's a need for that in fact it's a form of your protection in some form Again, with the 313, you are protected. It's like sometimes rejection is protection, so remember that. So um, sometimes when re divine masculines go into rejection mode or do not communicate type of mode or just kind of step back out of nowhere, it's for processing and healing reasons. I know it may seem like weird and wonky on the human terms, within human terms, but within spiritual terms, it makes quite a bit of sense, all right? So it's kind of like going on a vision quest is what, what that term would what spirit would say so look up vision quest if you want to know what that means okay so um the horses mean freedom again with the sense of freedom that i was talking about earlier that ties into that mm -hmm. 
Um, I've been, okay, wings, I've been seeing a lot of wings, feathers, a lot, of, a lot to do with wings. Um, okay, they're saying the fae. Um, now, a lot of people fear the fae, okay? A lot of people do because they do have a reputation of fucking with your shit and taking things and kind of being kind of mischievous. But remember when I said that I like mischievous spirits because we can learn a ton from mischievous spirits. Um, that kind of goes into the Orisha faith. Um, Alegwa, Alegwa, which is basically the trickster spirit. Mm-hmm. And so it's like someone, it's like we can learn a lot from them. And I feel like right now the face coming into mind because of the wing like energy as well as angelic like um, energy coming through because I feel like a lot of wing like creature or air like creatures, like dragons and all of that, dragonflies, butterflies, they all have a part within this, okay? We're all connected, even not within like this realm, but in many different dimensions, we're all connected, okay? So a lot of people are gaining their wings. It's like that initiation phase. Does that make sense? You're about to be pushed off and you need to fly, is what Spirit says. But the turtle, I've been dreaming a lot about turtles, which represent also for me, they're mentioning Turtle Island. Turtle Island is very specific. Now, the thing is, is that this area, the place that I'm at right now, I'm in Washington State, as you guys know. The thing is, is that as our souls, if you guys believe past lives, have been spread out amongst many different continents, amongst many different land masses around, you know, this journey, etc. So you could be, you know, drawn to a specific place um, or a specific time period, you know. Say, for instance, if you have nothing to do with Japan and you're not Japanese whatsoever, but then you feel called to go to Japan and you feel like you connect with the culture. Or it could just be like random, like India or something, you know. That type of stuff is like tied to past lives where you feel connected like you've been there it's like that sense of deja vu is what we're <laughs> we're referring to but turtle island was basically this area of this landmass is what known as north america around the americas islands and this was along the coastal part of turtle island where this was a very um flourished place where turtles could come and rest and to actually lay their eggs and to have their babies etc so it was known as turtle island as well for the shape of it as well as i would say from far away from people who were um, voyaging okay now the thing is is that there's a sense of knowledge that there's importance why I, I mentioned that this has to do with human rights or just certain human um, activism, you know, that type of thing. And also about, you know, human greed is what Spirit is talking about, about the need to control or to own something. You cannot own Mother Gaia, by the way. Mother Gaia is not to be owned. Mother Gaia is free. She's a free spirit. So to feel like you own a certain part of a land or a certain part of Mother Gaia is basically showing greed now i'm not here to tell you what's right or what's wrong okay you need to go connect with the crow spirit for that shit <laughs> but i'm not here to tell you what's right and what's wrong but i am here to tell you that that there's certain aspects about humanity right now that we are learning to let go within ourselves and to realize that it's within us, each and every one of us, even myself included, that we need to really address within ourselves to really start healing, start the healing process, okay? Um, but it's like the, that aspect of... I'm not, I'm not going to go deep into it, but what you were taught in history built on lies. Now, okay, now the scientific, the human term would to be, in the logical term, would be to learn. They're saying the important thing is, it's not about the facts or whatnot. It's about seeing past lies, it's to see through truth, you know, um, fuck the facts, you know, fuck what what to what's to be proven all that i know that us humans sometimes we can be skeptical because we need proof like physical proof some of us really do need physical proof in order to believe in something i'm not knocking skeptics in fact skeptics are like my favorite type of people <laughs> so um fun fact <laughs> i like skeptics um i like that i like when someone can question and not believe wholeheartedly of something that you can still have that little bit of part of you that still has to it still has that room for questioning I, I i really believe in that but at the same time spiritualism and spirituality is not about the facts and what can be proven spirits not here to prove themselves 
nor are they here to prove anything. They're just here to be. And the, the, the thing is, is that we, as humans, since we're at a lower vibrational, um, we're pretty low on the, on the scope when it comes to dimensions, you know? If you really look at and study dimensions and all that, and quantum physics and all that, but whatever. All I know is that right now, we're at a point where it's like they're saying bridge, which is like, which is funny because this is a rainbow bridge. So if you guys heard of the rainbow bridge, like meet me at the bridge type of thing, I even have videos about that. It's like bridging the gap between both um, and realizing that the things that you were taught in history were complete lies um, and to really do your research behind the scenes and do as much research as you can, even in the physical um to, to find out what your real origins are, to find out who you are, who, what are you, who are you. You need to know who you truly are before you can actually know anything else within this world, honestly. And the thing is, is that we were taught backwards, all right? We were taught to focus on the physical rather than the in, inner um, part of our being, which is so important to balance out both, to balance out practicality and spirituality. Oh, I'm just, oh my gosh, they're just really channeling on. So the thing is, is that, Focus on the inner you. Focus on the, the inside first. Would you paint the outside of a house before you build the foundation of a house? No, you wouldn't. You would start with the foundation. That's Start with the foundation, all right, and then build from there. Now, you can build all you want, all backwards from the outside inwards, but I don't feel like that place will be very stable and it won't really last long, okay? What you put into something is what you get out, so... The more intentions, the more time you put into something, the more of a, the, re, the reward that you get. So, it's like the law of attraction type of thing, so. Um, okay, but Turtle Island is very important, alright? Look up what Turtle Island is, and you'll start to dive into a little bit of a rabbit hole <laughs> as far as that goes, okay? Especially if you live in the Americas um, area, alright? But I have many other locations and gridlock points that, I, you know, that spirit I always mention within this channel that get activated, etc. Especially if you feel guided to go somewhere in particular. Okay, I've been seeing a lot of lighthouses. A lot of lighthouses represent the star seeds for sure, as well as the twins. Don't dim your light to fit in as well, but keep shining your light as much as possible. You know, your light can never really fully go out. The, the light within you... Um, is something that no one can take away from you. Like I said, it's part of your spirit. So there will be times where, yeah, you feel like you need to turn off the light. That's okay, but remember to turn it back on at times or to change the light bulb, you know, every now and then to, to keep on maintenance, all right? So um, remember that you are the light and the dark at the same time, so balance out both. Don't fear the dark. Don't feel fear the shadow because that's a part of you, all right? So trains, I've been hearing a lot of trains, which means movement forward, also it means transportation, could be past life ties, but I'm also hearing trains like, um, they're showing me that, again, that um, physical representation of spirits in a way when that train is like going on the ocean and everything that says train for spirits, basically to travel from a different world to the next. Um, so that's very important to pay attention to. Rainbows, which is funny. <laughs> I was going to talk about, okay, the rainbow is very significant. If you've been seeing rainbows, that is a very important sign because that is spirit's way of showing you the bridge as well as um, having, you know, hope or faith in the situation that things are going to be okay. Everything will be okay. E even though it may not be okay right now, it shall be okay in the end. Does that make sense? Recognize that it's all right to be not okay, but also recognize that it won't last long, Okay. They, it's a process it goes up and down all right so if you're seeing rainbows and it could also be a personal sign as well like from any passed on loved ones so if you have someone that is an important passed on loved ones that you have in mind whether it be a grandmother a grandfather whether it be a cousin whether it be an uncle um an aunt whether it be a sister or a brother whoever uh, even an animal a spirit animal that you have in mind or someone that you can uh, an animal that you connected with that passed on those are coming that's another sign from if you guys are seeing rainbows to let you know that they're there right there beside you as well walking with you on your journey so it's recognizing that she again you're not alone all right um you lost a loved one in the physical, but you definitely gained an angel in the spiritual sense. You gained an ancestor. So, numbers I've been connecting with. 
for sure are 1111 333 555 616 which is Tupac's birthday by the way. <laughs> 717-818-9999, which is weird. That's a new one. And 1010 and 1221. So the 99991 is the significant one because I feel like a lot of people are nearing the completion of a cycle. You guys are getting to that near point, about to get to that 10 point to close out something. So like I said, you guys are at the door. You're about to turn the key, but you're not walking through it just yet. So it's like that 9999 point right now. Um... So when it comes to my crazy ass dreams lately, I've been getting a lot of weird dreams. Now, mind you, when I talk about these dreams, I don't want you to think that this is some prophetic type dream, something that I'm like talking about the future. No, this is just dreams, random dreams that I've been having um, during the Lion's Gate, and I just kind of want to mention them. So there's no need to put any fear-based energy within these dreams. Okay, take them with a grain of salt is what I want to let you guys know beforehand. Now, I've been connecting with, um, okay, they're talking, okay, okay, another Ascended Master that's coming through, or someone that, um, in, this is random, Princess Kaiulani, the princess of Hawaii before Hawaii became, like, um, colonized. So, hmm, look up Princess Kaiulani because there is a movie that's on it, and there's some messages that, it's very heavy, it's heavy, but it's talking about the history of Hawaii and what happened before it became a part of the states, alright? Anywho. Shout out to her, okay? Rest in peace, especially to those that lost their lives during that point, all right? And just in general, I'm just praying and just giving a shout out to any passed on loved ones. May you rest in peace. May you be greeted with unconditional love and healing energy when you are received on the other side. I just want to make note of that. For my dreams, I've been getting a lot of like weird symbolism, okay? There's like... Let me see what I wrote right here, because I'm reading off of my notes. So I've been having dreams of, like, all my karmics and old exes, and I know that that's a sign to let go, to fully let go of the past. But I'm also getting signs of, like, of course, my Divine Masculine has been visiting me on and off in my dream state. Um, and the thing is, it's like, it's hot and cold energy, but I feel like a lot of the Divine Masculines are coming forward a lot, especially within a spiritual sense. If they're not coming forward in a physical, you're starting to feel their presence a lot. You're starting to notice that they're around. You're starting to notice um, that your dreams are becoming more vivid with them. Sometimes uh, I'm getting a lot of lovey-dovey moods coming from the Divine Masculine energy. Like, really, like I stated, they were apologizing, asking for forgiveness, um, as well for the Divine Feminine. Um, vice versa, saying I take accountability for my actions. Because mind you, the Divine Masculine energy is, is um, known for running right now at this point in time. There are Divine Feminines who are running on this journey, but the way that this dynamic goes, it's usually Mars that chases Venus, and then it goes vice versa, okay? So until Mars catches up to Venus fully, and then they're on that same page, all right? It's like the same concept of when the sun and moon meets, okay? That's very significant, the, the eclipse. But the dreams I've been having, I've been having dreams of like, old schools like old places that i recognize that are formed into one i'm also having dreams of looking at houses i'm seeing also for sale signs i'm also having dreams of driving in a car as well um they're also saying bikes and stuff like that like just different like random like uh, symbolism that's coming up as well as i've also been having dreams about water being on a boat being on the ocean so it's like a lot of water energy and the thing is, is I did stated that Venus isn't going into cancer so that's very significant as well okay so um, now one thing for sure that I want to mention is um, another show that's coming up in mind and I feel like a lot of people can actually enjoy this show and it has like a funny comedy twist to it but at the same time if you are a belief of Buddhism or any type of Buddhism or right, of that manner uh, or you know around that that scope this will be the one for you. Now, it's a it, mystic pop-up bar, and it's in the Netflix. If you guys know Netflix or whatever, you guys have Netflix, then go ahead and watch. I'm sure you're looking at um, drama aspects, but it is a show. It's a series, and it's about past lives, karmic um, cycles, as well as recognizing lessons, helping others with letting go of resentment, rage, and grudges. 
it's it's a very great show okay guys it's kind of heavy it's very heavy okay it's not for but if you it's really great for shadow work and whatnot but mystic pop-up bar okay i'm gonna recommend that now that's a great show to check it nice show to look for as far as message wise people can receive many different things from that show so definitely definitely uh, recommending that right now so i think i have everything right now as far as like channeling wise guys i like to channel first before i dive into a reading because the reading is just a physical representation of what i've been channeling okay now i think that it's very important like i love using tools and stuff like that but it's important to strengthen your gifts without tools to, to um to learn to channel try to um challenge yourself to channel without using any tools to just go by what you're seeing feeling um, what you're receiving, clear cognizance wise, you know, that type of thing, strengthening those, um, clairs, you know, within you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pop into this reading and let's get started. Okay. So I changed the angle a little bit so I can get a little bit comfy, kind of see where I'm working with right now. So I'm not going to use any tarot today. I don't think I want to, but I will use the Lenormand for sure. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I like using the Lenormand. I feel like we get a lot of, I mean, I love tarot and everything like that, but I also, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> but wow, guys. So flower energy. If you're connecting with flowers, um, like tulips or lilies in particular, it could also, I'm getting a grandmother um, presence coming through. I did state that passed on loved ones, like a lot of feminine energies coming through right now. Um, divine feminine ascended masters that you connect with as well as passed on loved ones like grandmothers aunts, sisters, um, that type of thing. I'm also seeing that there's a gift coming pretty soon also to recognize the gift um, within the darkness surrounding you right now. So like I said, certain things that, that happen within our life, whether we like it or not, are a gift in disguise. We may not see it at the current point in time because we're clouded with judgment and clouded with lower vibrational energies. However, it's important to see past that um, fear-based energy, to see past that and to see the bigger picture of it all. So. Wow, so I did say something's coming. Ooh, it could be an old wish. You may never know what you're gonna get. Remember what I said about the Aquarius energy? So yeah, Uranus is in retrograde, so you never know what you're gonna get. Um, it's like that um, box of chocolates type of thing. <laughs> like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Forrest Gump, there we go. Okay, so overall energy for today. Wow, 23, okay. I'm just gonna pull a little bit more because I want to just see it as overall, like a as a picture. Sometimes I like reading like cards one by one, right? But some, but I like to see it as, like a story, like a picture book coming to life. Is what I see tarot as. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and move this up just a little bit more. I like how we have mirror numbers right here. We have the 23 and the 32. So let me show you this. So I did state that the twins, or if you're seeing mirrored numbers of this sort, like 23, 32, 32, 23, you know, that type of thing, um, it lets me know that you guys are definitely like in that mirroring scope. 19 and 41 could be significant as well as 10 and 5. Fives are a big indicator. I'm seeing 555 five, five right across this deck. So that means conflict that comes with change. So you may be receiving a lot of conflict within your life. And if you are going through a lot of mental turmoil, physical turmoil, whatever it may be, a loss of any sort, I literally am giving all of my love out to you. And I really am praying that things shall get better for you, etc. And to acknowledge that, yes, it does suck ass. I'm not going to tell you to just cheer up, buttercup, and just keep moving. No. Remember what I said, feel the emotions. If you're feeling sad, allow yourself to feel sad and mourn. If you feel angry, allow yourself to feel angry. And, and But to also transmute that anger into a more um, lighter experience. So instead of yelling and projecting your anger out onto others, start projecting it in a way of a more healthy coping mechanism, such as doing yoga, doing something that's active, maybe jogging or taking a walk somewhere when you're really angry or feel yourself getting to that point of explosion. Um, so 
if you feel that, if you feel that frustration. Anger is just a form of anxiety, by the way. If you guys don't know, go ahead and check out my spiritual anxiety video. I explain a little bit more about that. But anger is a product of anxiety. It lets me know that you fear something. You fear that you lost something or you fear losing something. It's a fear-based mentality. Anger is just a physical product, an outward reaction um, towards an underlying problem, which is basically a fear of something. So... Little known fact, when you see someone losing their shit and popping off out of nowhere, it typically means that they are afraid of something. That um, whether, whether it's to be judged, whether it's to be seen a certain way, whether it's to be taken advantage of, it's like certain people have different trigger points, okay, and why they act the way that they do. So if you are feeling any sort of conflict with that is happening within your life, now is the time to release that and let that go and to surrender to the fact that I feel like you guys are definitely going through a lot of shadow work. I'm, this is also tied into the lunar cycles, by the way. So today's the new moon in Leo. Okay, so I did say anger, a lot of resentment, a lot of grudges are coming to the surface right now to be released and purged out. So this is going exactly according to plan, exactly to astrology's plan, which is the moon cycles, all right, the lunar cycles in particular. Now, this mice right here type thing, I'm seeing that this is like um, a lot of rotten food, a lot of like mice that are getting in and out. It's kind of like that mischievous like energy that I was referring to earlier. So it could be mischievous like energy that is going on or happening around the scenes, but it's okay because it's going to help move this journey along. Um, people, I always state that karmics are needed in order to push the journey along. Without karmic energy, then how would we be able to learn? Okay, so learning is all about uh, part of karmic energy. Wow. That doesn't want to stay still <laughs> um now this right here now i'm going to put it up right here this right here is a tower now i feel like a lot of people are experiencing tower moments at this current point in town they're really closing out cycles at this point so if, again if you guys are, i'm feeling a lot of scorpio energy coming to the mix as well um which is that transformative type of stage but i feel like right now this the way that the this, I don't read it like typical, like I try to read it like tarot as well, but I also state that this tower represents, like, it kind of gives me that Rapunzel vibe, honestly, <laughs> like Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair type of thing, so, um, you know, it's like making a choice on if you want to move forward or not like staying stuck in a, in a certain place now if you feel like you're stuck somewhere and you can't escape somewhere that could also be a uh, another theme i did mention of being stuck energy you're feeling like things are not moving forward but really there is it's just you got to see behind the scenes okay um it's, spirit said it's part of the play <laughs> um now i'm not saying you need to be rescued the the whole notion is realizing that you can rescue yourself Remember, you are divine masculine and divine feminine energy. You are both. So you don't really need a physical representation outside of you to rescue you. You can rescue yourself in a certain situation. But you got to see the many options that are given to you right in front of you. We may not see the options that we have right in front of us because we're blinded by what? Fear and anxiety. When we're really overthinking, we can't really see what's in front of us, really. We can't even see past our nose sometimes. So it's about releasing that. Getting in tune with your shadow self as well. Also, they're saying your moon sign. So whatever your moon sign is, and you believe in astrology, like my moon sign is a Libra, so certain aspects of Libra energy, certain shadow aspects that Libra deals with is the same things that I'm dealing with today in my life presently that I need to learn to integrate within myself. So say, for instance, for example, Libra, in a shadow uh, sense, tends to deal with extreme bouts of anxiety and overthinking. Sometimes we, we get stuck and we stay in place a little bit too long and we can't move forward because we're overthinking it. So Spirit is saying if you feel like you're overthinking a certain situation, now is the time to take um, steps away from that actual situation so that you can see from a different perspective. Because if you're too much in the sauce, too much into it, um, you can't even see the entire picture for what it is, alright? So you wouldn't know where to start. So sometimes the best thing to do for us is to just take a break. Take time away to rest, to just take... Just take a step back. And I feel like Divine Masculine Energy really has that on lock. They got that down for sure. But Divine Feminines, it's time for us to focus on that right now. I feel like um, in, in particular, a lot of Divine Feminines, I'm feeling for you guys that it's time to focus on just resting and getting the rest that is needed, um, especially after all this transformation. Now, the well right here that landed right next to the moon card, I'm saying that this also does with the Aquarius energy. Any 
any wishes that you made in the past um, is coming to life, basically. So whatever it is that you made at one point, whenever it was stuck or whatnot, or even if you're in that stuck stage or you're leaving that stuck stage or if you're going right into it, it's all part of the process and the journey. So whatever wishes that you made in the wishing well is going to come to the surface pretty soon when you start cranking that that um turn point okay now you never know what you're going to get because that is aquarius energy because expect the unexpected type of thing okay so i'm going to go ahead and pull from the moonology deck knock out any old energy that's within not being afraid to venture out spirit is saying don't be afraid to Leave your comfort zone and venture out to the unknown. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, I'm going to pull for the new moon and new moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Mm -hmm. And a time for healing. I love it. This is exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> Right now, I'm talking about, for right now, okay, they're telling me to talk about this, the void of course. Now, this is like my course correction card. Nothing will come of this situation. I hope that's, okay? So, this, this basically means, like, nothing will come if you guys are just overthinking everything. The thing is, is that if you're in a stagnant situation or whatnot and just keep replaying or ruminating things over and over and over again, nothing will really come out of it unless there's actions taken necessary in order to change it, okay? You can all, think all you want all day long to your absolute death about the things that went wrong, but nothing will come out of it if you don't actually take the actions necessary to actually change and move forward. Does that make sense? So, a time for healing. This is perfect. This is a perfect <laughs> card to come out because I did say, Divine Feminines, now is the time to take steps back and to actually heal. Now is the time to actually rest. So, I'm glad that this came out right here as a further confirmation. Balsamic Moon as well. So, course correction. So, the, usually a lot of tower moments are definitely course corrections. It's part of the transformation. One more, please. Ooh, I did. Oh my gosh, guys. Did I not feel Scorpio? I just, okay. If you have Scorpio within the chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere else within the chart, it sh does not matter. I'm just feeling a lot of Scorpio energy coming to the mix. It's time to release negativity. Now's the time to start releasing any forms of negative. Remember what I said about the shadow aspects of Libra? It's to deal with overthinking, um, to deal with anxiety-like energy. Now, that's part of the negative type of energy trope right now, okay? So it's about releasing that full moon. Um, basically, this can tie into the next moon cycle because we are getting another a lot of moon energy coming out through here. So today is the new moon in Leo, but the next moon will be the full moon, which is basically in Pisces, by the way. So a lot of water energy coming through this energy. So it is that transformation. Scorpio re represents Pluto transformation. It also means releasing control. So I did mention if you're dealing with any type of control issues or trying to control the journey, you cannot control and force the journey. Um, it's going at a certain cycle, like how it's meant to. You can't you can't tell the moon to hurry up, okay? Hurry up and go to the next phase. No, the moon's going to take its time um, in order to transform. Just like you, you need to take your time too. Oh my gosh, another Scorpio. Guys, it says work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. No way. This is at the bottom of the deck, guys. That is so awesome. Remember what I said about your deepest, darkest fears, like fear-based energies coming out right now to, to really um, get in tune with your shadow aspects within yourself? Because that's something Scorpio can definitely teach you. And today is also the new moon, so I love that. Oh my gosh, everything I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go, oh my goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from this Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. This is a beautiful deck. I love this deck. Okay. So, I'm just going to ask, it's definitely a deck that's geared towards a lot of, like, female-like energy. There's not a lot of male representation within this deck. However, I do love it because, it, overall, it, it had its own purpose, so I'm not complaining. I just, I really love this deck. It's very simple and just 
to the point. Okay, so I'm going to ask separately for the Divine Masculine Collective, what are you guys working on? What it is that you guys need to focus on in general as far as healing-wise? Oh. 32. Oh, wow, we got matching numbers, guys. So the fact that 32 came out right here, as well as you know 32 32 so if you guys are seeing 5 5 or 32 32 it could be an age it could be like someone's age or it could be like a birth date like um like march 2nd okay i don't know so the thing is is that the escapist come home to yourself <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. It's calling out the divine masculine energy for sure. So right now, I'm seeing that they are learning to escape. I did say that divine masculine energy is taking steps away right now in order to recoup and to rest. So if you feel like your divine masculine is taking, like whether you're in union or not, in um, physical separation or not, they're taking times away to be at home with themselves, to really come into to tune with themselves. Okay. Also, they could also see you, divine feminine, as home. You could represent home. It means like to stop running and to come back home to your divine feminine. That could also represent um, as well, and that means in a spiritual sense for sure, not just physical. But divine masculines are learning to balance the divine feminine energy within them for sure. They could also be studying up on esoteric knowledge, doing a lot of research. I'm also seeing this as a social media card. They could be, this could also represent like a computer screen or a phone screen. <laughs> so they could also be seeing you or like watching you, what you're doing, Divine Feminine, kind of doing research and learning as well in the comfort of their home, which is funny because it's like different places are still in quarantine, etc. Um, but yeah, for sure, especially if you're dealing with, um, this is, could also resonate, but if you're divine, this is very specific. If your divine masculine is a female, for sure, that could also resonate for this particular group and collective as well. If you have a female divine feminine, uh, divine masculine that you're dealing with, um, vice versa. But definitely feeling a lot of that energy. Okay, so <laughs> this is funny. This is like one of my favorite cards, guys. Bitch fire. <laughs> 16, which is 7. So if you guys are seeing again, 6s, which I did mention 616, or 7s, um, if you're seeing 717 or 707 in particular, that can resonate. But I end up for yourself. So right now, they're definitely getting in tune with setting boundaries and standing up for themselves towards a lot of karmic situations within their life. So they could be also escaping or just needing, feeling the need to escape a certain karmic um situation now karmic doesn't always mean a person it can mean a person place or thing so think of nouns karmic can represent a job that they no longer resonate with it uh no uh, mindset a certain fear that they're dealing with that doesn't resonate with them anymore feeling like what would people think of this situation etc what would people so right now you're they're learning to like stand up for themselves and setting some firm boundaries with themselves okay um also if they're a runner or if they're known from running because mind you when we run from certain situations or conflict it is also a past trauma that we deal with um from childhood People deal with trauma in many different ways. People either shut down emotionally or physically, where they just go completely mute and they just don't talk, you don't hear nothing. There's people who um, deal with it through escapism, which is um, dealing with, say for instance, I'm seeing fire here, so if like, say for instance, they smoke or whatnot, like cigarettes or something, or something that, whatever it may be, um, a certain addiction or a habit you know there that's another karmic situation they could be dealing with is a habit or an addiction to something or some sorts all right um so it doesn't mean just a person i don't want people to be triggered automatically because the thing is is that i like i said karmics are needed in order to move the journey forward um you will be thankful it is a gift within disguise for karmics because mind you, you were a karmic at one point to somebody or something. It's a label. So don't be hung up so much on the labels, okay? It's what's very important right now. I'm going to go and pull for the Divine Feminine Collective. Divine Feminine Collective. Divine Feminine. What are you guys dealing with or need to deal with at this current point in time? Oh, nice. So we got the number 22 and 42, so those can be some significant numbers or things to pay attention or look out for. You could be seeing 222, two, two, um, which is an energy of the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy coming into union with oneself, okay? Now 42 can also um, 
go into six, which is that, a lot of six energies, which is the number of love. Now, what's funny is that we have library. Take control of your own narrative. And homework, take yourself out on a date. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Okay, so, okay, library. It's so funny because you guys are literally marrying each other in some sense. Like, you know how the Divine Masons are doing some sort of research in some way. Um, definitely diving into certain knowledge or whatever scope that they're doing, whether it's a job or it's a new passion or a hobby of theirs. Sorry, guys. It's a car. Um, but right now, I feel like Divine Feminists are focusing on taking control of their own lives and narrative. You guys are the puppeteer, the, the, the basically the one that controls this this whole thing now remember no you are in control of your own life nobody else is not even the divine masculine so do not rush the process or the healing process or the journey uh between you both okay so that's very important to realize and to to take a step back right and to just focus on your own narrative to write your own story so whatever it is that you were unhappy with at one point whatever conflict that you may be dealing with divine feminine now is the time to either get back into writing, get back into reading, writing out your feelings and emotions and how you feel. Like I said, I just wrote a love letter that I'm going to burn tonight that I'm going to be releasing as far as past-wise. So that's also another form of taking control of your own life, your own narrative to release. Also, by the way, um, if you felt like you were controlled at one point, either controlled by something or someone or whatnot, or felt like you had no control, now is the time to really um, remember that you're the one that's controlling these strings. Not anyone else but you. You are a free spirit, okay? So releasing yourself from any codependency or any type of, um, I don't know, lack mentality is what, what, what spirit is saying. So... 42 homeward take yourself out on a date i like how there's a thing about home so it's like escape is come home to yourself right for the damascus and then right here it's take yourself out on a date homeward so right now it seems like you're already at home with yourself for sure divine feminist is collective i'm pulling for also again if you're seeing bird like energy or any type of spirit animals that are coming forward in the form of birds that is also a messenger coming through something's coming towards you also um, the doorway is really standing out in, in particular, how she's standing inside but looking outwardly, and it's just beautiful foliage. So, you also, Spirit saying, get in tune with nature, get out in nature if you need to ground yourself more, right? Don't stay inside too much. It's good to stay inside and to actually re rest and recuperate, but also go outside and actually plant your feet on the ground because she's barefoot. Go outside, dance in the grass, go outside, touch a few trees, etc., and just ground yourself, all right? I definitely need that for sure. <laughs> um, but take yourself on a date. Remember, you can save yourself. It's like that notion of Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. You know Rapunzel can save her damn self, right? The thing is, is that it's just the romantic trope that there's someone or something that is heading your way as soon as you're willing to let go of the need to have someone within your life or the need to um, be complete and whole with someone else without, you know. Like I said, it's very important to come into tune into nature, into um, inner union with yourself, okay? And you see how they're, you see how they're spending time with them, their, their, themselves and not anyone else? It's like a time period, especially if you guys are physically separated, to really take some time apart and to actually have some time for yourself and to heal within yourself, okay? So um, there is love to be shared between distance. There is a love to be shared between closeness. You know, it's very important to balance out both. Oh, a lot of a lot of things to do with the hands I've noticed lately. So a lot of hand energy, universe. We're all just stardust. Oh my gosh! So any past wishes that you made on stars, etc., or you guys are stars basically, star seeds, etc. You know, um, that will be coming true. So whatever you put out in the universe is definitely gonna come back to you. Um, is a really big indicator. So the more love you put out into the universe, the more love you shall receive back. Right. So. Beautiful messages, guys. So I'm, not, I'm going to be using the Love Lover's Oracle right here. Very beautiful deck. I really wanted to use this for a reading for you guys. Wow, okay. I'm seeing a secret admirer. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Okay. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So I did say that the someone was watching over here. Wow. Now this is a little bit trickier to 
um, shuffle from, so just have patience. So, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Wow, guys. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful energy. So remember when I said I'm releasing the past, a lot of past energy, a lot of past life energy coming to the mix, past loved ones now. Release and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to follow it with faith. Yes, yes, I love that. So if you could be like, if you were dealing with a past situation or past karmic situation, whether it be a job, a person, place, or thing, or whatever, maybe an addiction, now it's behind you and you're leaving that and you're saying goodbye, you're kissing it goodbye, you're thanking it for the lessons that it brought you, and now you're moving forward to this new path. Remember, I said once you release any of this negative, this fears, and all these fears that are just an illusion of yours that we create within our minds. Um, it doesn't mean it's necessarily true. It just means that that's just how we're perceiving the situation. Okay? So now is the time to release it and, and embrace a new pathway that's coming for you. <gasps> surrender. At times, I, gosh, guys, I did talk about, oops, I did talk about surrendering. I want to show you the artwork, though, by the way. This is a beautiful card. Um, this is the one that came out too, so I love that moon that's on top, and I see all the hearts around her, so I'm feeling like this is a lot to do with the heart chakra. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. <laughs> I love this, guys. Oh my goodness. I did say surrender to what is. Surrender to the past now. Surrender and let go and go with the flow. Surrender to your emotions. Feel your emotions and allow for it to leave you as it is no longer a part of you. You are not your emotions and you are not your thoughts. They do not control you. They come and go. So... This is beautiful. Okay. Mind you, this is for both counterparts, by the way. So I'm not specifying anything. Balance. Oh my gosh, guys. I love it. Everything's like synchronizing. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. I love that, guys. Wow. Yep. So, it's not about agreeing just for sake of it, okay? It's not about, right? It does actually make sense for agree to disagree, but at the same time, you shouldn't compromise your wants and your needs for um, a certain relationship or just for a certain mindset or a certain job or whatnot. You know, it's important to balance. It's a, it's a process of give and take, okay? So, it could be in a literal sense that if you guys were arguing, having some words that were exchanged that are just not so nice, or you guys just can't seem to simply simply agree on something, whether it's like, I don't know, it could be something simple or something huge, right? Just letting you know that love is not always about being easy flowing. Love has its ups and downs. It's not perfect. It's not asked or needed to be perfect. Never was perfect. That's why a lot of people perceive love is pain or people perceive love as joy people perceive love as many different things but balancing is very important within any scope of anything balance is like inner peace inner harmony balance is like that yin and yang that i've referred to that yin and yang energy that's coming into balance into union so i feel like a lot of balance is being restored within this connection whether you guys were in a rocky situation or not i feel like a lot of you guys are surrendering and you are balancing out your emotions, your thoughts, your actions right now. You guys are focusing on you first and foremost and then coming together to form balance and harmony within that. So I'm going to pull just separately now for the Divine Feminine and then the Divine Masculine. Okay, so Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine Collective, message from Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors. Things that you need to hear for the Divine Feminine Collective, this particular. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull it random. Oh, I love that. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. <gasps> Guys, oh my gosh, didn't I say I'm having dreams of the ocean? And oh my gosh, guys, and a lot of water energy. So the Pisces full moon is coming up next. So keep that in mind. 
but divine feminines look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so divine masculines that's definitely a sign from them divine feminines that you guys are within each other's hearts so it's very important to remember that that you guys are never really that far apart you guys are always with one another guys just look within your heart basically like i said you may be feeling your divine masculines within your heart or you may be feeling a heart chakra activation not heart chakras <laughs> been feeling a lot of like dreams about them um if you're having ocean or just connecting with the ocean or wanting to connect with water um, that's another healing like energy that you can connect with your counterpart there so that's beautiful um also this can be for passed on loved ones it can be from angels and ancestors and everything like that they're also saying that their love for you is as deep as the ocean so keep that in mind as well so divine masculines oh goodness guys divine masculine from your spirit guides angels and ancestors or divine feminine counterpart which one a message for you okay i'm gonna pull it random Ooh, new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately wow guys didn't i say a new beginning is coming on the horizon as well as when you release so the divine masses are definitely releasing quite a bit and they're about to welcome an, a new beginning now the new beginning can be a relationship with the divine feminine new beginning could be um like actually going like like actually coming into um a new mindset, a new belief, right, about oneself. Maybe the Divine Masculines didn't believe in themselves at one point, but now they're starting to believe that they can literally do whatever the hell that they set their mind out to do, right, in every, as long as there's good intentions um, behind it. But a new beginning in a scope of, like, a beginning of, of loving themselves, um, a new routine, a new workout routine, a new... If they are seeking for a uh, connection with the Divine Feminine, then a new beginning with the Divine Feminine, for sure. Okay? It could be a new beginning, like moving, moving to a brand new place. It can be, you know, starting a new job, a new passion that they never thought that they would be, you know, so in love with. Like, as far as a career aspect, you know? So, it's like, Divine Masters are definitely coming into a new beginning. And, um... And right now, the Divine Feminines are definitely being in tune with their emotions. Like I said, Venus is in Cancer, so that makes sense because they're, they're definitely getting a lot of heart chakra and being very sensitive and looking within and um, feeling their emotions a lot more rather than being in that air Queen of Swords mode. You're going into that Queen of Cups mode. So, uh, beautiful. Now, at the bottom of the deck we have, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. No way, guys. I said there's a blessing in disguise to any darkness that you may be going through. And this is literally a confirmation from the universe saying that you may not understand it, okay? I'm going to reread that. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Beautiful, guys. So I love to end this off right here. The candle is about to burn out, and let me pull a few charms just to see what the confirmation. Okay, let me move this right here. Okay. All right. So what came out was few letters so if these letters are in mine <gasps> whoa no way this actually says gun i'm okay the thing is is that i'm really tripping out right now because i i don't want to bring any like negative situations into this right now but i was going to talk about a dream of mine within my channel visions about how i've been having dreams about guns and school shootings now i don't want people to like get scared or whatnot but you see how i write down certain things i wrote down right here guns right here in school shooting so right now I'm seeing the words gun come out now gun can be it doesn't mean always that like it can mean like the Scorpio which is that death energy now if someone you know that was affiliated or just was I don't know I don't want to make this negative but if someone you know that was like shot whether it was a suicide whether it had something to do with gun related things I did mention of Tupac earlier how Tupac's birthday was on June 16th because he's a Gemini so a lot of Gemini energy 
but it could be um, something affiliated with that. Um, I don't know. It could be you guys getting into gun ranging or gun shooting or someone buying a gun. That could be a new beginning. It could be like a divine masculine who likes to use guns, um, who likes to hunt, etc., who's a hunter. That could be another thing, but I don't want people to be scared about the whole gun shoot, school shooting thing or whatnot. It's just, like I said, my dreams are not prophetic visions or dreams. Sometimes they can be, but like this one, I'm not getting any of that hint. It was more of a symbolic, uh, used as a symbol to represent um, an actual tool or a physical item. Okay, so just don't get hung up on that, but it could be a divine masculine who are into that, you know, into shooting or gun range or whatever. So, I like that we have butterfly. <laughs> I did mention blue butterflies earlier. So, if you guys are seeing butterflies, that is a representation of the transformation of this. That it could also represent the Scorpio energy that you're feeling too. The gaining of wings as well. It could be the Fae uh, that I mentioned earlier. And angelic beings. Why I say that? Because my angel charm. Also, this is my grandmother's charm. So, passed on loved ones again. You guys, this is also a passed on loved ones item too. So, I'm also worried as well, if you are dealing with suicidal tendencies, this is a sign out. This is not for the entire collective. This is just someone in particular. If you are dealing with suicidal tendencies or mental health issues, and that's plaguing your mind, please seek help. Please reach out to someone, whether it's a professional or reach, or, you know, I always am an advocate for people healing themselves, but if you can't feel, if you feel like you can't do it yourself, please reach out to someone you trust and love someone that you ultimately trust and love, okay? Or it could be someone of a professional sense to reach out and ask for help just to, to get your healing process started. I just wanna make note of that. Um, that can be for one specific person. If you are dealing with that, or if, you are, if you're not actually actively making a plan on it, there's a difference between people making plans and people who just think about it. Now, if you're someone who thinks about it and has ruminating thoughts about suicidality, I suggest to also get help and to talk to somebody, okay? For sure. I just wanted to make mention of that, all right? So, much love to you. Whoever is dealing with that, I know because I am someone who has dealt with suicidal tendencies as well as suicide attempts. And I will be making videos in the future when I feel ready to and I have the much energy because that takes a lot of energy to talk about. And, but other than that, you know, it's better than staying silent, okay? So, this right here is the sixth star, I guess. Yeah, it's the six-pointed star. And I did mention that this might be the star of David, but I'm also saying, guys, start researching alchemy as well as six-pointed star and how important that is to this journey. This also represents the divine masculine, divine feminine coming to union with oneself as above, so below. You know, that type of thing. So I'm also seeing right here... Um, this is a, a pendant that was on a necklace, and I always make this represent um, a soulmate or a passed on soulmate. So if you are dealing with someone like a soulmate or a twin who is passed on, again, people have had their twins lost within this lifetime. Um, I pray for them as well. They're also coming through, letting you know that they're out surrounding you and that they're also helping within this process, within this journey. You may not see everything that's happening right now. Like I said, that note, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's a higher purpose for it. Okay, so they're coming through. Also, this represents my ocean pendant. So connecting with the ocean, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love for you is deeper than the ocean. So again, a soulmate thing type of thing. Um, reminds me of Titanic. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, guys, you're going to freak out. So this is a seahorse. I mentioned of seahorses within my channel vision, how the seahorse, I love that this is coming up. I love that. I love synchronicities. So seahorses represent the divine masculine energy. Like I said, they're going through a new beginning. I said they're giving birth, did I not? So they're giving birth to a new beginning, which is that seahorse energy right here. Also, this can connect to past lives, which you guys were in Atlantis or some time period within water. Um, okay, or you guys connect with oceans or someone could be a water sign. You know, a lot of Scorpio energies within here. Uh, and Pisces, I'm not feeling a lot of Cancer, but just a lot of Pisces and Scorpio. We have the infinity sign, which represents the closing of the lion's gate happening right now. So beautiful energy. So this is saying goodbye to Leo season. Also, the eight represents the infinity sign, which is to last a lifetime. So this love lasts throughout many lifetimes, and it, is, it shall always continue to be so. And this is also the representation of the birth and death process. So circle of life, okay? Now, the two last ones are the tennis rackets, and this is a camel, okay? So... 
could possibly be someone who loves tennis. It could be like that side note. It could be someone also who needs to, you know, get more into physical activity, moving your body more as such could be a sign of that. Or if you move your body too much, now's the time to rest and to stop moving, to actually just be at home with yourself like that card suggested with the divine masculines the camel is a representation of carrying too much on the back so right now this representation of someone carrying too much burdens needing to let go needing to surrender to the past so any past hurt or pain or resentment or grudges that you hold against one another or it could be against something or some or certain thing happened within your past so it could be like a boy that broke your heart at 10 years old and you don't even think about them but you need to surrender that past right now in order for the new to come in okay okay so you guys beautiful you guys are finding balance you guys are letting go you're surrendering and this is all happening within timing within divine timing within astrology time okay um beautiful energy here guys really really nice i'm going to go ahead and close out this reading right here because this is this is all i'm getting as far as like message wise and i feel like it's very to the point otherwise i'm going to be very redundant okay but i feel like a lot of beautiful messages as far as mental health really came out to the forefront um okay so beautiful i'm gonna go ahead Alright guys, I'm sending you guys off with so much love. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in my Instagram, I typically post a little bit more on there. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, then that's okay. And also as far as music that I play in the background or channel music or any type of playlist that I have listed is in the box below as well. So, and thank you so much for the support you guys give me. And thank you so much for being so patient with me as I um, focused on healing, you know, especially after this wisdom teeth removal, I really needed to focus on taking steps back. So I have been getting a lot of ideas, new ideas as far as videos goes, and I'm just really excited for it. But I really wanted to drop in with this reading and just start off with this as my comeback. So much love to you guys. Peace to you and see you guys in my next video.